really clever DIYs using some packing tape today that I think you're gonna love. And if you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. And today's all about packing tape. I always have a stash in my craft room because the crafting possibilities with it are fantastic. So we got lots of work, let's get started. First DIY project that we're going to make is DIY stickers. This is a piece of parchment paper. You can also use wax paper and make sure that you're sticking your packing tape onto the waxy side of the wax paper. And I'm just putting strips across that whole piece. These homemade stickers are great to use on your junk journaling, mixed media, scrapbooking. The kids can make it. I go through my magazine stash, my scrapbooking paper, anything that has a quote or words or a little picture on it, you can turn into stickers. I have this punch that I love to use on the little pieces of paper that I cut out for this project. It just rounds them off and makes them look a little bit nicer. Now I'm gonna cut the strips of the packing tape off of that parchment paper. I had a National Geographic magazine that had a lot of really fun words to turn into stickers. And I also had some scrapbooking paper that I had some really nice images and quotes also that I'm gonna turn into stickers. I put a little bit of glue stick on the back of that magazine quote, and I'm gonna stick it on top of that packing tape. This will just help keep them in place until we finish the next step. You can just imagine the possibility with this DIY. The kids can cut out little pictures from their coloring books or pages that they have drawn in and turn them into stickers. Now we're gonna take the packing tape and lay it right over top of those pieces of paper that we put down on the first layer of packing tape and parchment paper. And then I'm gonna take a credit card and I'm gonna press it down really firm. Now I'm gonna take a sharp pair of scissors and I'm gonna trim around each piece of paper, leaving a little tiny bit around the edges, but making it nice and straight and clean. I've got them all finished and we have created a sticker. You're just gonna peel off that parchment paper or the wax paper off the back and you have a sticker that you can stick on any surface. I've got a piece of coffee stained paper and I'm just showing you what it looks like after you peel them off and stick them on the paper. And how much fun is this? You can just imagine getting comic books, magazines, um, possibilities are endless to make your own DIY stickers. Next DIY that you can do with packing tape, I have an old magazine page and I'm just putting a piece of packing tape right over top of it. And then I'm gonna get a credit card, make sure I've pressed that packing tape really hard into the paper. And then you just peel off that packing tape and you're gonna be left with that top layer of paper on the tape. You can trim around the edges and you can add it to any of your mixed media projects or your junk journaling. And it's a really quick, fast way to transfer magazine papers or, mag or newspaper onto packing tape. The other way of doing this exact same process is to lay your packing tape down on top of that magazine paper, trim it off, take the credit card, and we're going to press it down really firmly. Once you have all the bubbles and wrinkles off, you can trim around the edges, and then we're going to put it in some water. And we're going to soak this piece of tape with the magazine page in it, and then after it is soaked for 15 or 20 minutes, we're gonna rub off the paper, and you're going to be left with a translucent transfer on this packing tape. I have a full tutorial where I did this process right from start to finish and the possibilities are endless and it's so fun. Next packing tape DIY is a little bit of a hack. If you have scrapbooking paper that you want to decoupage with but it's too thick, this is a great way to make it usable for your decoupaging projects. Take a piece of thick scrapbooking paper or any sort of paper cardstock that's really thick and hard to decoupage with and put packing tape all along the back of that piece of paper. Rub out any bubbles and wrinkles and making sure you've pressed that tape in really firmly 
And then when you get to the end, we're just going to start to tear away that packing tape off of that thick paper. And as you're doing that, it's taking off a layer of that paper off the back and it's gonna make it thinner and easier to decoupage with. And you can do this process a couple times if your paper is really thick until you get the desired paper that you're looking for for your project. So we've had a really thick piece of scrapbooking paper and now it's nice and thin and it's gonna be way easier to decoupage. Another DIY project that you can use packing tape with is to create a chippy paint effect. I've got a couple scrap pieces of pine that I've stained and you're gonna need some acrylic paint, some packing tape, and a candle. This is just a, a candle that I picked up at the dollar store and I'm rubbing it really aggressively across the top of that wood and around the corners. So once you get that first layer of wax on, we're then going to put our first coat of paint right over top of that. We're just gonna brush it on, set it aside, and then let it dry. And then when it's completely dry, we're going to put on a, another coat of wax and then another coat of paint another coat of wax, and another coat of paint. And you can just layer up as many colors as you want, as many different combinations, and it's gonna create a really amazing effect. Once all your paint is completely dry, you're gonna put the packing tape right over top of it, pressing it in really firmly, covering that whole piece of wood. And then once you've got all that tape on, you're gonna take your credit card and you're gonna press it down really firmly. This is really important with this step to make sure you're really pressing that tape right into that paint. And then you just have to peel away that tape. And anywhere there was wax, the tape is going to peel it off and it's gonna leave you a beautiful chippy finish. This is a great technique if you don't have a sander or you don't wanna make a mess, you can just create chippy paint with a little bit of packing tape. This is a fantastic DIY to do with packing tape. I love to make labels for everything in my pantry. I've printed these off on my laser jet printer on regular computer paper. This will only work with a laser jet. It won't work with an ink jet. And I've got these listed in my Etsy store if you wanna grab them. It's a bunch of sheets with all kinds of things that you would find in your pantry or kitchen that you can use as labels. I'm putting the packing tape right on top of it going to cut it down to size and then I'm going to use a credit card make sure that it's pressed down really firmly and then we're going to put it in a little dish of water. We're going to let it soak for 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to add the rest of the labels also and then you're going to just rub off the paper off the back of that piece of packing tape. The ink stays on the tape and the paper rubs off and it's also still sticky. So once we get it completely cleaned up you can apply it onto a glass jar. You can fill it full of nuts or oatmeal or flour or sugar, and you know exactly what's in there, and they look pretty also. Another DIY project that you can do is label sheet one minute transfers. I found these label sheets at the thrift store, but you can find them in the stationery store. We want that shiny piece of paper. I've printed this on my laser jet printer. This will only work with a laser jet printer. And we're going to just cut out these graphics off of that piece of shiny paper. And all these graphics are available in my Etsy store if you wanna grab them and try one of these projects yourself. And then once we have them all cut out, I'm gonna take my packing tape and I'm going to press that graphic right into the packing tape. This is amazing, it's just like magic. I love doing this transfer technique. Press it in really firmly. We're gonna cut it off that roll of packing tape. And then when you peel away that packing tape, it is going to be left with the image on that tape. You can then cut it around the edges and apply it to any project that you would like. You can then put it back on the shiny piece of paper tuck it away and you can use it on your next project whenever you need to. enjoyed all of today's DIY projects using packing tape and I've inspired you to try some of these techniques yourself. Thanks for watching, have a great day, 
and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these next two. Take care.